Hello and welcome to the next video in our series. In this video, we will guide you through uh, the process of setting up Firebase for both Android and iOS. Firebase integration is essential if you want to implement analytics, enable push notifications, or gather diagnostic data to improve your app's performance. Before integrating Firebase, make sure you already have set up app bundle identifiers and you already have created a key store uh, for your Android project. So you can generate SHA keys and add them to your Firebase project. To create a Firebase project, go to firebase.google.com, log in here and go to console. Here it will show you all your existing project or you have an option to create a new project. Let's create a new project. Uh, let's name it reality app or whatever the app you are working on click continue you have option to enable google analytics continue and then we can select a google analytics account here now create a project it may take some time and then continue and it will take us to our newly created project for the demo purpose i am switching to an existing project so we can continue integrating the same project that we are using in the series. Go to the project settings here. Scroll down. And start adding our app. Here we will need to enter the package name or package identifier that we set in the previous videos. Let's copy the application ID from build.gradle here. And paste here. Let's give a nickname to our app. This SHA key we can add later. And then we can download this Google service.json and add it to our project. It is downloaded here. Let's copy it from this location and paste into our application resources. After copying, Expand the Android folder here. Expand the app folder here and find the Google service.json file here. We need to simply replace this Google service.json file with the newly downloaded file from Firebase. For surety, you can check if the package name is correct as the one that you set in your build.gradle. We are almost done for the Firebase integration. The next option is to create the SHA key for the Firebase configuration. To generate SHA1 key, we need to open the terminal here. I am going to use the terminal embedded in the Android Studio. You can use any terminal of your choice. Let's move into Android folder here. We already have the key store file in this directory. As you can see, the myappkeystore.jks exist in this directory we are going to use the key tool command to generate the sha1 keys for our project the command can be explored on android documentation key tool dash list dash v dash key store and here we need to enter the path to our key store since it is already here in this directory we will simply write the key store name. The next option is to provide alias. We already have alias named private and then the store pass. And it should generate the SHA1 and SHA256 for the key store. We can simply copy these SHA keys and paste to the Firebase project console. Add a fingerprint and then paste. It already says SHA1. Save. We can also add the SHA256 keys as well. And save. Keep in mind adding these SHA keys are essential for phone login and other Firebase related tasks. The next step is to add the Firebase to our iOS project. Simply click add app button here and then choose ios provide the bundle identifier here 
and add a nickname here. App Store ID that you can add later. And done. You can download your Google service info dot playlist from here. And locate this file and copy it. Now switch to the project here and expand the iOS folder here. Expand the runner directory here and replace this Google service info dot playlist file with the newly downloaded file from Firebase. For an additional confirmation, make sure it has the correct bundle ID. And that's how you set up Firebase for your Housey Flutter app. With Firebase integrated, you can now configure your push notification and configure your phone auth. Make sure your bundle identifier and signing key stores are correctly set up before starting this process to ensure the smooth integration. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for next videos.